Hello guys, it's Axiom and welcome to a new video in Codevein and today we're creating Itadori Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen. So starting off you want to leave the physique and the skin color as default. We're going to use the short hairstyle in the bottom right corner. You want to set both of these colors to black one. We're going to use the middle face. Today we're using a different pair of pupils and it's these ones. Set the background to white. Set both of the colors to shiny brown, the second one from the bottom right corner. And then you want to set the size to 0, the cat eyes to 3 and the vertical position to 4. For the eyebrows you want to use these. And you want to leave the colors black to match the hair. In makeup you want to set the lipstick color to zero. In face paint we're adding on the Sukuna eyes that are closed and you want to use these. Leave the color as default and set the strength to 100%. Now you want to swap the position of these and adjust the angle. The next layer we're adding on is going to highlight his eyes a little bit more and you want to use this one. Again leave the color as default and set the strength to 100%. Adjust the size and then we're going to turn them around and then put them into position. The outfit you're using today is this one and you want to turn off all of the accessories. You want to set all of the colors apart from the last one to interior 6 dark purple at the top. The last color is going to be interior 7 red. Now you want to work on the hood slash collar that he has and it's going to be made out of three hats. So you want to use three of this one. All of the colors apart from the second color on the first hat are going to be in tier 7 red. The second color on this one is going to be autumn brown at the top. You want to adjust all three of the hats from the neck position. You want to place this one on his back as it's going to be the main part of the hood.
You want to use the third half to complete the collar and to cover up the rest of the neck. Now for these five slots we're going to create the top of his hair and you want to use this hat for that. You want to set the color to pastel 1 in the bottom left corner and it's the color that we're going to be using for all of them. Please note that all of them are going to be adjusted from the face position. You want to turn this one around, move it towards the front of his face and make it smaller. Creating the top of his hair is the most time consuming part of this character creation and is going to require a lot of patience. This piece is going to go towards the back of his head and you want to turn it around so you get the anchor point in the right position. The next piece is going to be placed on his left side and again we're going to have to turn it around quite a few times to try and get the anchor point in the right position. And don't forget to adjust the size. Unfortunately there's no easy way to do this and it's because of how they designed the character creation system with the anchor points. The next one is going to be placed on his right side and unfortunately it also requires a lot of twisting and turning.
This last piece is going to go towards the back and we want to use it to try and fill in the gaps. And now if you want to, you can make further adjustments to the other pieces. And he's done. This character creation wasn't easy because we don't have a proper way of splitting the colors without it being a gradient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did feel free to leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.